a lot harder. So that's why I'm using less weight. You're gonna rip your pecs out of your skull. Rip your pec out of your brain if you do too. So I'm gonna give you guys a technique that I use for visualizing. See, the representation that your, your mind or your brain makes of the world is different and should be different from the world in and of itself, in reality. So I wanted you guys to like take that as an advantage when you lift weights or you do any kind of visualization. You know, when you create a mental map in your brain, you can manipulate it to your advantage. Because like I said before, mental map and the geography, the, the, you know, the layout of the physical world is not the same. I'm giving give you an example of what I mean, okay? So what, when you play the violin, you know how I said the violin, the, uh, the fret, there's no fret on the violin. And the fingerboard is only this big. So that's why I said the violin is a lot harder than the piano because the piano is 10 times the size. So the, the difference between one note and the other, it's huge on the piano. It's hard to make, you know, it's harder to miss a note on the piano because the space is so huge. Not to mention that there's no fret, there's no line on the violin that divides each note. So when you play the violin, you, you really have to create a men mental map inside your head when you play. Well, if you only go with the math of the fingerboard in reality, each space between notes would have would be like one centimeter or less. When you get higher, it's like one millimeter. And if you if you don't create a different mental map in your mind when you're you know physically trying to find the notes, you're gonna miss the notes because one millimeter you fucking gonna miss it if you don't use your mind to create a different landscape. So when I play the violin, I don't think about Oh, I don't think about the actual space between, you know, the notes on the fingerboard. I think about, I, I create a whole new different dimension. My brain has to be warped. So, the difference between one note and the next, between maybe a C and a D, in my mind, would be like the difference between the Grand Canyon, when you jump across from the Grand Canyon, then you can't miss. Maybe it's bad example, Grand Canyon, you know, you can't jump over it, but you know what I mean. But you can't, don't limit yourself to the geography of reality. Create a mental map that, you know, expand or some, in some cases contract or in some cases it's totally different landscape and different geography, right? So when I imagine my mind when I play violin, it's not the fingerboard that's in my mind. 
It's a whole new different dimension, a different universe with different shapes and different geographies. And First different. step, increase by 10 pounds. Create your own unique blueprints or your own unique mental uh, landscape. Go abstract, go to a different dimension. It's already PR. The last time I tried wide group bench press, I could only do like one, one, 225 for like three. So all this Hollywood block, man. Strength and size, nervous system and dicks, mind and stomach. Huh. 275. So this is probably my maximum set. So I think all that I was saying about creating a different mental map than what reality offers. Uh, I think uh, the best example is when Arnold said that he imagined his bicep is filling up the whole room when he does a bicep curl. But uh, that's my last set, you know. And then, you know, I, I also progress like progressively. I, you know, expand my mind and, you know, create a more abstract or more, you know, useful mental map as I go heavier. See, like the first couple of sets, I was still imagining just my normal chest pumping. Okay, isolated the chest. Okay, mind, body, chest. And the second Thursday, when it got a little heavier, you know, my chest expands a little bit, maybe fills up the whole room or the whole city, I don't know, maybe, you know, my whole body becomes my chest, you know. And then this set right here, probably my PR set, we don't know, I'm gonna go deeper. I'm gonna get away from even thinking about the muscles, you know, not just muscles expanding to fill the whole room, but I'm not gonna even think about muscles anymore. This day, I'm gonna imagine something else completely different, completely abstract. String theories and quantum mechanics kind of shit, it's pure energy, you know. Like, Escape from the actuality, the physicality of the actual body. Last set. This one, I'm going beyond the known universe, going parallel now. Let's go, Phil. Gonna do my last set, Phil. Come on, Phil. Let's go, Phil. Next effort step, 280, white group. <laughs>